So you want to stream your door audio into OBS. This tutorial's got you. It's easy, it's free. You won't believe how simple it is. Let me just start by saying this is for PC only. Uh, there's some videos explaining how to do this for Mac using like Black Hole or Soundflower or something like that. If there's enough demand, we might do a tutorial on how to utilize those plugins as well to make it happen. But for now, it's only for P PC users. Sorry, Mac peeps. Also, if you have a third gen Focusrite interface, uh, you can find that tutorial in a different video. We're gonna go through that utilizing the loopback feature. Uh, you don't actually need any additional uh, plugins or anything like that. So we're gonna do that in a separate video. Okay, your first step is to go to reaper.fm forward slash rear plugs. Uh, the, the link's going to be in the description below as well. Now download whatever your system is, whether it be 32-bit, 64-bit, you'll get a, a setup install or something like this. I agree. Now you, you don't have to install all of this if you don't like, you can if you wish. Um, you know, it's got a couple of compressors and all that sort of stuff that you can utilize and take, take advantage of. But in this tutorial, all we really, all we really care about is rear stream, audio and MIDI over ethernet, okay? They're the ones that we wanna utilize. Hit next. Now it's important to note that uh, OBS will actually utilize a default folder for their VSTs. I think that default is set to C program files, VST plugins. Go ahead and install it into that. It'll, it'll get picked up in your OBS that way. Going ahead, you go through, you pick your plugins. And in Ableton, it's all drop and deliver to, to whatever channel you like. So in this instance, we're gonna grab the rear stream standalone plugin that we just installed. Um, and we're gonna grab it and drag it and drop it onto the master channel. Now it's important to note that you wanna put this on the master channel because any other audio channel that you set set up in Ableton or whatever door you're utilizing, they will all go to the master, right? So we wanna send the entirety of everything from the master to OBS so that our, our audience can listen. So we're gonna go and select send audio from our door, send audio on local broadcast, meaning our local PC. And that's it. That's that's the door done. That easy. So once and you can already see it's receiving what's coming in through the master channel here. Okay. The other point I want to make too is you can actually set uh, an identifier in in Ableton. So if you wanted to, you can leave it as default, or you can simply set it up as like 001, for instance, or we can call this like Able. Now it's important to note that whatever you put here is case specific. So if you have a capital L, for in, a capital A for instance, that's going to have to match. Okay, so our next step now is we're gonna do OBS. Okay, very simple. Audio input capture. We're gonna go okay. okay. Um, set set as default, default, that's, that's fine. fine. But, but right, right now it's capturing my, uh, my actual audio, audio interface, interface without, without any plugins. plugins. We're gonna mute that so that you don't get that double up from loopback and, and everything else as well. So what we need to do before we do anything else is make sure that we've got the uh, rear stream filter applied. So you can either go through right click filters, you can either hit this setting wheel and go filters, or you can click filters here. If it decides, there we go, gotta have it selected, Chris. All right, we're gonna go add, we're gonna go VST plugin. We're gonna call this rear stream. Label everything so you don't lose it. We're gonna open the plugin into, oh sorry, we're gonna add, first of all, we're gonna add the rear stream plugin that we just installed, rear stream standalone. We're gonna open the interface and we're gonna call this Ableton. Same as what we were, what we were sending from our master channel in Ableton. We're going to tell OBS to receive from Ableton. And you can see we're getting that stereo input Great. We're gonna do two more things. So you can, you would have noticed that there was actually input coming in before I applied that rear stream. Some interfaces, depending how you've got your sound system set up, like your sound settings set up, it might be receiving interface audio directly, not coming from your door, which is not what we want because that's gonna be a very dry signal. It's gonna have no plugins on it, anything like that. Or if you're recording music or you're playing music on, in your door and you want your, your stream to hear it, that's that's pointless, right? So the first step we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go in here and we're gonna add a gain, okay? If audio chains work in order. They go through one, into the other, into the other. So it's important that we do this in order. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna actually apply a negative 30 dB and then we're just gonna double it. The easiest, the easiest reason I can give you is 
Negative 30 dB is actually not enough. We need to, we need to double that. And that's gonna get rid of all that audio input capture from your interface, okay? And then it'll go, so it'll go through the first gain and get a 30 dB reduction. A second gain, 30 dB reduction, rear stream, all right? So if we hit close now, I'm gonna turn off my loop back. And we should be receiving audio now directly from Ableton. And you should be able to hear the reverb that comes through when I apply that. And that's all being recorded directly through Ableton into OBS and being received. That is essentially like a step-by-step -step process and hopefully that helps everybody. Like I said, if you've got a focus right third generation interface, um, whether that be like an 89.8 8 or 4i4 or whatever it may be, if it comes with third generation, just double check the manual and make sure it comes with loopback. If it does, we're gonna do that in a separate video. Uh, let me know in the comments if this, this helped you out. Give it a like, subscribe, of course, you know the jazz. And uh, yeah, thanks.